I'm back again, guys, and we got a new version of one of the dupes, and this is the best one, period, so far, at least. Until someone finds some super crazy, insane thing, but this one, you can 100% of the time consistently duplicate your weapon. Whatever item you want, you can attach to it, break it apart later, but this one, you can actually get 100% accuracy, zero skill check. You don't have to get some frame-perfect thing and time it, and all the time, because all these previous ones, the housing and the... Sh the, uh, the um, throwing and all these ones you had to like time it right you had to time it you had to get it just right not now now what we can do is get it 100 of the time without any effort at all so this one's going to be using the th weapon throwing dupe and there's a trick we can use in order to make it 100 consistent so if you don't know how this works let's go through this real fast so let's duplicate the diamond reaper and i'm going to do this so that i can get a diamond so what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you have it equipped you have it in your hand like this then you open up the inventory and save your game then after you save the game, you're going to go to throw it. And now here's where things get a little different from the previous version. So this is how we can make it 100% consistent. So you're gonna press minus on your left controller in order to open up the map. Then you're gonna go to adventure log and you're gonna go down here to memories. You're going to watch a memory and you can press X then plus to skip it. You're gonna watch four memories in a row. Very specific, very important that you watch four. So that was one. Now this is two. I'm going to skip it. Okay. And now we watch. Once it's done loading, watch a third memory. I'm going through to make sure no one gets confused. I want you to see the full footage here. Don't get confused on this. So that was the third one. Now we watch a fourth one. Very specifically, you need to do four. Okay. After the fourth one is done, now you're going to don't press anything. Just press plus. And that'll take you to here. Now, you can double check to make sure it worked by going over to your weapons. And if the weapon is gone from your inventory, then it threw the weapon and it's on the frame where you throw it. So even though in the background, you'll see Link holding that weapon, he hasn't thrown it yet. The thing that people have discovered, I think speedrunning community specifically has discovered, is that watching a memory advances the game's physics by one frame every time for some reason. So we just advanced the game four frames, which is how long it takes to go from holding the weapon ready to throw to the point of it releasing from your hand. So now that we've gone forward four frames like that, we can load our game and it should 100% of the time throw the weapon and duplicate it with the weapon throw glitch. You'll 100% consistency, 100% accuracy be able to have this work. Uh, but always double check to make sure it actually remove the weapon from your inventory to make sure. But there it is on the ground. It threw the Diamond Reaper. And I have a Diamond Reaper in my inventory. Now I have two Diamond Reapers. And so if you want to duplicate items, shields, bows, whatever using this, then you'll just fuse whatever you want to it. If you didn't know, you can literally fuse a shield. You can fuse a shield to a weapon. So I can show you real fast. I can take a sturdy wooden stick. I can fuse it to the Lionel shield. And then I could throw this and duplicate it. And then I could remove the shield. This guy, same thing for a bow. Same thing for any material that'll fuse to a weapon. So you can actually put a weapon on a weapon in order to duplicate two weapons at once. So that's how you can duplicate. And once you want to separate them, you just go to this place, which most of you know by now, Terrytown. And there's the break apart shop guy. And for 20 rupees, he'll tear the thing off the weapon and you'll actually be able to recover it. And you can do that in order to duplicate anything that will fuse to a weapon. But this is it, guys. This is the best one, period, until someone finds a better method, at least. This is 100% accurate. So you just, again, to do this, just have the weapon equipped. Go over here, save the game. Then go to throw it. And then press minus while holding R, let go of R. Go to adventure log. Go watch four memories back to back. Skip them with X and then plus every time. And after skipping the fourth one, I just skipped ahead a little bit. So we, I just watched four. After the fourth one, you press plus. Go check to see if it's gone. It's gone from my inventory. So now I will load the game and I just duplicated another weapon with a shield on it. So extremely fast, extremely easy. Hands down the best way. And also it's the only way so far that has zero skill checks. 100% consistency. You can just duplicate items. It's just a matter of how long does it take. You know, it's like 30 seconds per item or something like that. But there's the item over there. I also have the item in my inventory as well. So you see it just duped again, 100% success rate. So this is it, guys. This is currently the best duplication in the game. Now, if you need diamonds to duplicate, by the way, you can buy them in Goron City for a thousand rupees, or you can also find one over at this shrine. And you can also find one, I would think it was at this shrine. 
And I think you can find one inside of the Rara's Blessing Shrine here as well. And there's plenty of others out there in the world to get you started if you need one in order to duplicate diamonds. And that's all there is to this one. I hope this helps you out, guys. If you're looking for a, a duplication glitch for 1.1.2, this is going to be the easiest, most consistent, most chill one to do. It's going to be the best one until someone finds a better methodology. Because right now, this is like the peak of the current methodology for duplicating items. But if a better one gets found, I'll keep you guys in the loop. I'll go ahead and post about it as soon as I find out about it. But this is the newest version and the best version we have so far of the duplication glitch in patch 1.1.2 of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.